Members of the Lowcountry motorcycle community are pushing for better education, better awareness in the wake of increased dangers for motorcyclists in the Lowcountry. Live Five's Caitlin Ashbaugh joins us to share more about those statistics labeled alarming to some local bikers and the push for advocacy. Caitlin. Roth motorcycle riding has become an integral part to many here in the low country, a tradition that provides generations a way to bond over that sense of freedom. But lately, in the wake of increased potential dangers in the community, many are putting their beloved bikes away. In just the past two months, at least three people have been killed in motorcycle related crashes in the low country. A study done by Auto Justice Attorney shows South Carolina ranks top of the list for the most dangerous roads for motorcyclists in the country. Bikers out in the community say the rise in danger is because of distracted driving, carelessness, or a lack of education for what it's like to be on a bike. They also say it's not just a lack of awareness from cars or truck drivers, but it's new motorcyclists as well. In South Carolina, there's little to no laws granting more than a fine after the serious injury or death of a motorcyclist in an accident. Several I spoke to say they want to encourage advocacy programs to teach current and future drivers to be more cautious around motorcyclists and potentially save a life. PSA's driver ed programs, higher fines or repercussions were just a few examples of what they wanted to see. If they could see from our perspective, the joy in riding, you know, you don't have to enjoy it, but you have to see that that's a freedom that we enjoy without having to fear for our lives every time we get on the bike. Tonight at 7 o'clock, Fia Cotto shares the story of her son, a generational biker who was killed in a car crash just two years ago. Hear more about what she's doing for better advocacy and justice in the name of her son. In Charleston, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.